So I thought I would share with you something a little bit different today. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something similar as I, what I did yesterday, where I took my fluffy crease brush, or excuse me, my blending brush, with that transition color as stew, and just I'm gonna dust that into the crease, uh, just back and forth, all the way in, all the way out, to just add a little bit of dimension to the crease. Do you see that? Just that one little technique, you all, is just gonna give you that dimension and depth to your crease and it look amazing okay so i'm going to just go in and do a little bit more on the other side here and then today what i thought i would do is i thought i would share with you our liquid shadows we have eight to choose from right now and they come in a variety of colors and finishes i'm going to show you one of my favorites it's called giggly and it's a matte pink color the really cool thing about these shadows is that they are prismatic, which means essentially, depending on how the light hits them, you are going to see some dimension and depth that you may not otherwise see just like with this regular shadow, right? Like it looks, now it looks uneven. Let me just dust a little bit more here. Have to be even y'all, there we go. Right, we have to be even, even Stevens. Plus there's like something going on with my eye, but anyways, okay. So I'm gonna take the applicator. You can also use a finger, you can use a brush, a different kind of brush, whatever you feel most comfortable with. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda just take this and put this all over my eyelid with the applicator. And I'm just gonna use this one pigment, okay? Then I have found it's easiest to work with the pigments when they are still wet. Once they dry, they really are not going to move, okay? So then I'm going to take my fluffy crease brush. I'm going to just lightly blend out any line. So I took that giggly color right up to where I put that transition color astute, okay? So you can see that there. Doesn't that look so nice and pretty? I'm going to go in on the other side now. And again, I'm just going to use the applicator i'm not even dipping into any more product there's quite a bit already still on the brush and i'm just going to put this all over my eyelid okay and again take my fluffy crease brush and blend out so that way there are no harsh lines okay so do you see that look at that so nice and light and pretty, but put together, okay? The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little touch to things, okay? So, for example, what I'm going to do, I'm, coming to, I'm going to come over here, not with understood. Let's do something. Let's just do a stoop. We're going to put a stoop on the lower lash line. You all know I like to do this to kind of help blur those fine lines, but then also bring the look all together. So do you see just the difference that makes right there when I do that? Nice, huh? Okay, and then I'm gonna go in on the other side, do the same thing. And so you can see Astute for me is definitely a must pigment. When I'm building my customizable quad palette, I'm going to want to have a shade like a stew in there, okay? And then also, the other thing that I, another must pigment for me is this one here called Optimistic. What I like to do is I like to put that onto the end of the crease brush, just put a little bit of that in the inner corner, just a little bit, but you can see how that brightens up the eye. Do you see that difference? It's very subtle. You don't need a lot, but it will make a big difference in just helping to really open up your look, your eye, your thoughts on life. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of that optimistic along the brow bone, because like I said before, that kind of helps to lift the brow, giving you the appearance of a facelift. Okay, so those are my pigments. One thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna just go in with my liner here. I don't even want something very heavy today, so let me go in with my liner shader brush. Where is that bad boy? All my brushes are all turn, turned around. There we go. Let's just go in with this dark brown color here called Marvelous. And I'm going to just take that right along the lash line. And that's going to give the appearance of a fuller lash line. And again, just really bring some attention to the eye there. 
All right, now I don't typically put a dark color on my lower lash line because for me it really closes up my eyes. But if you have larger eyes and you want to close it off, that is a good technique is to also line the lower eye, okay? And then I'm going to take a little bit of my pristine pencil in white, it's called pristine. I'm gonna put that in the waterline and that's also gonna really help brighten everything up, okay? I'll top this off with my 4D mascara and call it a day. So if you have any questions about this look, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like these types of videos where I just do a quick and easy tutorial, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that way anytime I post a new video, you are notified. Have a great day.